Welcome to Behind the Curtain, Ashland Community Theater show number 37. She does learn her lines. Good <laughs> stuff. All right. I'm Joe White. And I'm Katie Shander Reynolds. Well, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about our spring show, Joe. We're which doing is a spring up. show? We are. When did this all we happen? We have rehearsal right after this, so I hope you're not planning on going anywhere later. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So what's the name of this thing we're writing? This thing that we have written is called Nearly News. That is a great concept. Isn't it? It is. What Brilliant. is it about? Give me, give me, give me a so synopsis. It's based on a miniseries that you and I filmed, I want to say three years ago now? Yeah. Was it three years ago? Sure. Ooh, now I feel old. But yeah, so we're taking that miniseries, The Interns, that took place in a news station, and we have turned it into a stage play so that we can put it on this stage that, right here. That is an excellent idea. And where are we it right was. now? We are right now at the VFW. VFW right in downtown yeah. Ashland, Massachusetts. Yeah, and that's where the show will be. And I think it's it going to be April 19th, 20th, and 21st? Of this year. This year? Uh -huh. Less Excellent. than two months away. Excellent. So after these guys are done editing, we can, we can air this and everything will be all ready to roll. Indeed. Yes. So uh, who else is in this wonderful cast that we're, that we're having? In so many great people are in this cast. Really? And tonight we have two of them here. You know, you're and just a, gonna, amazing the way you just figure all this stuff so out. So organized, so that's organized. Right. And they're they're going to come up on this stage with us, and they're going to talk to us about their roles in the show. Yeah, yeah. You know, it would have been nice if we had, like, Patty O'Neill and, you know. You know well, you know, up. it's funny that you mention that because yeah. we do have Patty O'Neill. No. It's like I read your mind or something. Really? Yeah. And yeah, then, you but know it would have been better. No, it would have been better. Wait a second. If we had David no. Callahan oh, here, too. Because he would have been here, too. That, so those quick. two would have been real nice to interview today. All right. Well, so who would we end up getting? Who would we get stuck with? You know, I think you'll be disappointed, but it's okay. You'll okay. get over it. All right. Well, we'll so see. in a few minutes, we're going to talk to yep. Patty and David Wait about a second. their you, roles. They're here in Nearly News, and yeah, it's going to be very exciting. I'm so excited! Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be a great show. Actually, I, it is a great cast. It is so much it fun. Is a fabulous. It's been wonderful yeah. to work with them so, so far. far, and so uh, I'm really excited. So, Ashland Community Theater, the VFW, Nearly News, April 19th, 20th, and 21st. Correct. That is going to be amazing. That's all the data. That's all we got. We got it. But you know what? The rest of the time, I want to talk to who else is who's here tonight again? Patty. Patty? You just and said David. That. And David. Yes. Well, okay. We'll come right back and we'll talk to Patty and David about Nearly News and a little bit about themselves and how they found us. Welcome back. We're Excellent. back. Who, you were right. You were not lying to me when I you was said not, that before. I never when lied. When you said it before, that you said they were both here, I was totally, <laughs> totally, you had me. You didn't think you I would You had through. me. How did you uh, do you have that? No faith. You just knew. of little faith. Organizer extraordinaire. You just <laughs> amaze me every day uh -huh. of the week. David and Patty, thank you. How did you thank get, you. how did you get them? Well, let's find out how they got here. <laughs> That's what I'm more interested Great. in hearing. All right. How did you get here? Oh, thank you for having us. You invited us. <laughs> <laughs> we drove. We drove? I drove, yeah. Drove and you didn't get lost? No, so well. This is good. This is progress. The, not this time. And you anyway. come from all the way from? Come from Natick. And how did you find out about Ashland Community Theater? Uh, I was contacted, you know, it was through the backstage. Um, and uh, I was looking for things to do in the springtime, you know, to help uh, supplement my film career and yeah. things like that. Cool. And uh, I was very eager to do it with you. Thank you. Very exciting. I've been a huge fan of yours <laughs> for years because I live in Ashland. Never had the guts to audition for you because, as I had told you earlier, you both were celebrities. Uh, and then finally, Gateway 19, I got some great advice from John Bernthal, a fantastic actor, and John Colono, and they said, do community theater. Mm -hmm. Really? Do it all the time, every time, and Gateway 19, mm -hmm. I was devastated. I didn't make, yep. wasn't able to do that audition, yep. and then nearly news, I saw it on Facebook. Uh -huh. <laughs> I couldn't wait. So we're the lucky first recipients of your stage <laughs> career, is this what well, you're saying? Well, I did Regal Players in Waltham okay, for years, yeah. okay, so great. I just have taken a hiatus from All right. the theater. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we've, I've seen both of your resumes and the work that you've done. You've done film, a lot of film for yourself, uh, film. Theater, commercial, television. Uh, we have a TV know, star. A TV star. I, in our show. I've, been, I've been in a couple of films, but yep. I haven't had quite the, as good as the roles that Patty has had. Ah, yes. Oh, well, very nice. Yes, well, you it's, have. It's great to have the both of you on board. I mean, we've only done a few rehearsals thus far. Yes. And uh, I've been enjoying the fact that uh, I see the it's coming together. I it's really awesome. think it's really yeah. going to be a fun show. They haven't show. fired me yet. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, you get to fire you get everybody, to everybody else. else. Right, yeah, I love that part. You like that part. You're telling them the story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the opening uh, no scene. Spoilers. No, no spoilers. spoilers. No spoilers. Spoiler. Spoiler. Okay. No spoilers. So, uh, as Katie mentioned in the beginning, uh, this was a, uh, a miniseries we did a few years back. It was primarily around the interns that, that were the focus. The college kids. The college yeah. kids that were helping the, the eccentric characters in the show. Yeah, a little eccentric. eccentric. Somewhat hapless. Um, so, as we brought it to stage, we found out that uh, we kind of beefed up the characters of the the eccentric ones, the a little bit more. The grown-ups. <laughs> and a little bit more of a backstory, yeah. and we're kind of creating yeah. things. So, But the, the trivia question uh, for those who are out there, if we've seen the interns, who is the only person playing the same role in both the miniseries and the stage production? There's only one. There's only one. And what do you get I if you get that right? That. If you get that yeah. right, you get two free tickets to the Ooh. April 19th. That is April something. 19th. That's very good times. So show. email us email your us response. Right now, that's right. so, but how are they going to know if they haven't seen the stage show? They're going to have to. Well, <laughs> that's good. Oh, They may not get the answer right because yes. they have to come see the stage show. Why don't you come see the stage show and then you can give me <laughs> an email and tell me who is in there. But there's only one person. And it was. Uh, it if was they've been paying attention to the promos, they might be able to figure it out. They might be able to figure it out. But they're very, very clever. Right. And we know it's not David and. Precisely, Patty, because, because they're in this. They're new for us. They're, they're new yeah. for us. Can That's you put true. a clue on Facebook there, David? Yes, we will. Clue That's on great, Facebook. We'll put a clue a week on Facebook. To oh, see I like that. that. Yeah. So you're just paying attention. So you're just paying attention. <laughs> and at the end of the show, I'll give you the answer. Although, okay. you, may, you may know. I, I think I have an inkling. You may know, but it's okay. I, have an idea. We'll I get later. to figure it out too, so you. Do. Do. Yeah. Mm. So uh, now that you've been part of ACT for a little bit, yeah. uh, what's the experience been like? So far, oh, it's been it's great for me. I have a wonderful cast, wonderful people. It's great to work here. Like you said, your, your story is uh, you know finished now. But as we started doing it, you could see it progressing, and there were some more jokes to put in there. And it's really you know funny. I'm looking forward to doing it and working with Patty and Katie. Mm -hmm. You guys have had some great input too into that creative uh, process. Like that's definitely been a big part of it. That's the excitement the for part. us having you, right, is knowing you guys came right in and, and started throwing in those fun ideas. You can't and, shut us up. Yeah. And <laughs> printing out scripts for everybody. I mean. Well, the collaborative work that you invite and you invite when we're all together in the group has just been amazing. When I leave here, I'm like on a high. Hey. I can't go to sleep. <laughs> I'm reading the script. And then yeah. I'm searching for songs. I mean, I haven't felt this excited about a project in, honestly, a couple of years. Wow, so that's, great. that's how that's great really this wonderful. experience really yeah. is. I hope more people now yeah. audition for you all yeah. come Absolutely. your fall musical. Yeah. I was just talking to Katie before this, and sometimes we took, we, after the fall show. Yeah. Took some time off. We had the holidays and spent some time with the family. And it's like, oh, do I have enough energy to go back into another? And, <laughs> but the moment, the moment we started to talk about the show and the, the writing and all the other stuff that goes with it, you know, sometimes difficult like casting and trying to find the right people and timing and location, all that goes away when you start meeting with the cast and start right. meeting with the ideas and yeah. start seeing all that flow so the energy just comes back so like you so said true. you leave here you're excited it's like mm -hmm. i want to go home and not have another cream soda right right <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's great now you've been on uh, different types of you've been on films before right oh, yeah. what did uh, what films have you managed to tell the, the audience a little bit some of the things you've been in uh and then some experiences yeah. that you've had there sure well i did a television show with dwayne johnson called the hero that was pretty exciting, and I won a lot of money, but I also found myself during that show. That was definitely an eye-opening experience. I went on from that show and was found by the producers of a, tele of a movie called Stronger with Jake Gyllenhaal, directed by David Gordon Green and written by John Polono. Mm -hmm. And that was, I played on Chen. That was obviously just the greatest experience I've ever had Possibly. acting. Yeah. And from there I went on. I have a film coming out this summer called The Equalizer 2, starring um, Denzel Washington, Denzel Washington yeah. Whoa. directed yeah. by Antoine Fuqua. It wow. was so much fun. I filmed that back in December. Yep. And now I'm working on a film that will be coming out um, late fall. It's written by some uh, gentleman down the Cape. It's called The Running Waves. Ooh. That'll happen hopefully at the end of March. So wow. uh, audition cool. process and all that. Yeah. Wow. Now have you thought about outside, a lot of it's in acting. Have you thought about yeah. 
writing or directing uh, or doing something different? I am not as talented as you, so I don't write well. That's the truth. <laughs> Um, I don't write good either. No, you write really well. <laughs> I can follow direction. I definitely know that my forte is more in acting than wow. in anything else. Yeah. David? Yeah, I've had some parts in movies, um, background parts. Started out, I, I uh, responded to an open casting call several years ago for the movie Black Mass. Mm -hmm. And uh, I showed up in, over in Dorchester with like 2,000 people. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy. It was a line wrapping around the parking lot. It was pouring out. Mm -hmm. It was raining. And it, you know, I'm standing in line, a long time, about a half an hour. And I'm by myself and I'm seeing people come in and, hey buddy, how's it going? 10 <laughs> cut the line. 10 more cut the line over here. 10 more cut. I'm like, oh, the girl in front of me is having a cigarette after cigarette <laughs> after cigarette, and I'm getting a little woozy. <laughs> <laughs> so I says, I looks across, straight across, it's like a giant horseshoe, and I says, well, there's a spot over there I might be able to squeeze into. It was like a mother and a child, and two, and two gentlemen in front of that, <laughs> and I just kind of sauntered over, and it was supposed to be for like, a, um, like an Irish hot guy mm -hmm. type of thing, and uh, I just had my jacket on with the collar up, and I really didn't look at the woman, I kind of just stood there. And she started saying from behind my back, she said, excuse me. I said, that's okay. She said, no, excuse me, you can't cut the line. And I, I never even, get, I couldn't even look at her, because I was just, I just went, I just said, listen, I've been over there for like a half an hour, and people keep cutting the line and cutting the line. I go, what am I supposed to do? And she just went, well, I hope you get the pot, because you sure fit it. <laughs> I went, well, they picked me for an Irish face, but it wasn't for a tough guy. Oh. You know, but yeah, you know, so I had some chances yeah. after that, and I've done some other films. Been a lot of the films that uh, Boston Castings worked with in Boston. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'll be in this, uh, hopefully, I'll make the screen for Chappaquiddick, and that'll be out in April, mm -hmm. right around the time we do the show. Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. I was. I was fortunate, you know, one of the things about doing that is you're fortunate, you get to work with some very good actors, mm -hmm. you know, actresses and actors, we'll call them all actors now, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, you can pick up everything, you know, you pick up everything from these people, these are the, you know, A-listers, and, you know, it's great. Wow, excellent. Well, this has been great to have you guys here, I, I was really excited when I got to, I saw your background, and obviously I knew, I knew about you when I was when we were thinking of casting this show, we were talking about like, do you think they'll even, do people even want to do our show? Oh, it's a community okay. theater thing. The VFW? It's a VFW <laughs> kind of thing. But uh, I think the one difference is that uh, we've been finding is that I think we're hopefully feel that it's a, we're welcoming to the people oh, in, in the cast. Yeah, um, I mean, the community theater experience is great. If you want to call it practice, experience, for film roles, you, you're working with people. You're working with an entire cast now, mm -hmm. and you're going through entire scenes, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. you know, people people like that. I yeah. have to tell you personally, just from being in Ashland, I work at the Warren Conference Center on weekends, mm -hmm. and some of the waitresses there were like, "We should audition, we should audition," and everyone was chicken to do it in the that last production. It. And now this one came out. I'm the only one that did it, but I have a funny feeling. Oh, you're going to have a lot bring of them women all along. that are going to be here in the fall. I think you're going to have that much more in the community. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, that you know, with my big mouth on Facebook and everything, telling people, calm down. They're inviting you. Write roles for people, even if they're not in the script, so that you don't exclude them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely takes away the fear of auditioning, and I think that's yeah. what a lot of people have is. Yeah the fear of being rejected, especially yeah. when you put yourself out there in the community. Oh, absolutely. And you definitely took away that fear, so. And I, I keep going like this, Katie, only because that was my first. Oh, he's, he's but the you head are yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> keep it real. Think, we know who the boss is. We think the, the, Are we charged the microphone? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Can we go to the clip again? And, and the punctuation. The punctuation. Yeah. Who thought that exclamations and should have exclamation should, yeah, marks at the end, right? I don't know. I just I write in like free form thought, and then she comes in and goes, "Did you mean and I comma?" Or whatever it is. I interpret the thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Actors, we're trying to interpret that and you know make it our own as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's part of the fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's what I like about it, I think it was different when you did the audition. You weren't here for the, for the first round of auditions where basically everyone came down. And I knew we had some roles to fill when we sat there. And I don't even think I mentioned it at the beginning. We just started doing the reads. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, I'm like, you know, everyone's going to have a part. And it was like, really? It's like they were I like, was shocked. They're like, what you know, so everyone's going to get something? Pretty much, you know, with the original material mm -hmm. that, that is done, as opposed to the you know, known entities where we're kind of regimented to the right. parts. Yeah. This gives us the flexibility that I think we just love. And I think that extremely differentiates ourselves from a lot of other theater companies. Absolutely. Um, we want everybody involved. We want it to be yeah. fun. Yeah. We want it to be as stress free as possible because yeah. we all have, you know, day jobs and families and mm -hmm. things like that. And so we, we, if it's not enjoyable, people won't come back. Right. So we want to make it fun. And there are people who are in the show that are actually either running a marathon or doing another show, and they were in our last show and they want to be in there. We and we kind of write a little small cameo part for right. them to come yeah. on, yeah. and they're like they're thrilled because it's, the time commitment isn't. You know, overwhelming. It's not like that they have like you know the star roles that you guys have in well. the show. But but the other ones, they come in, they're excited to be in the show. So yeah. true. Right. And, and that makes a kick production, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, that absolutely. Energy, that when we have your entire ensemble. Right. Yep. Everybody's working together. Yeah. It's almost like a do your job thing. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone do their job. I'm already thinking of the right. cast party. Yeah. Oh, we have, we have, and we have our cast parties at Stone's Public House, yes. upstairs in the Stone's Public Woo! House room there. So Saturday night after that final yeah, show. Yes, that is I great. think I know where that is. So we have, uh, what do we say, we have about 18 minutes? Five? <laughs> five uh, was 47? It? You keep doing it, 5, 10, 15, 20. It, we can so just go on as long as we want and they just cut it so, later. So what Isn't we, that how it works? I don't know. 10 minutes? 10? 10, I like that. Because when you do that, see when he does it like this. I think it's he meaning 10, 20, 30, 50, 20, 30. Or there's a train coming. You never know. <laughs> train, train, train coming. It's not. But so uh, while we have uh, nine and three quarter minutes now, right? Yes. I, I have a book that my daughter Leah bought me for Christmas. And uh, she, as I mentioned, I love writing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love this book she got me. It's, it's, and I just like, to, it, it's a creative uh, thing for me. So I want to ask you some of the questions that are in this book. And I want you to give me your answers. But, and so you don't have to write anything. You just speak it through. It's a very simple thing, right? So it says 600. It's improv with six, six, no it's like, oh yeah, the improv I'm thing, I think, again, like the, the improv <laughs> thing was great because I think your character is really fl flushed. <laughs> or We're flushed. 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 Although, although Carol Wise says, but just, just flush it out. Just flush it out. Flush, it out. flush that puppy out. That's usually the, the, the unfunny that's, line. That's the, so there's 642, the part right 642 there. things. This is like, you know, this Tiny is, things. Yeah, there's only 605 more shows to be that number. Nice. Just to say. Good math. Okay. Good math. Tiny things to write about. Okay? So uh, pick a page number, although they have no page number, so I'm just going to randomly open it up. <laughs> number one so pick a page number. Seven. Seven. Okay, great. Lucky seven. All right. So, <laughs> so we're going to write to seven. At least you didn't say B, which is good. Uh, okay. All right. So mm -hmm. you are writing the first communication that is sent back to Earth after you landed on Mars. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about that and come back to you. So that's your, that's your okay. assignment when we come back. So you're going to write the first communication back to Earth after you've landed on Mars. So you're going to say that. Let's think about that for a second. Okay. You, pick a, you pick a number. Q. Flip through the book. Flip through the book? Just flip through the okay. book. Okay. Okay, right oh, there. Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> you accidentally open up your neighbor's mailbox. I, I what do you find? <laughs> Let's just call it an accident. What do you find? We'll come back to you in okay. a second. Find out right. what you I want that one. Okay. <laughs> if you guys want to trade, yeah, no, you guys want to trade. Okay. I'll All right, use David. Dot throw technique. Dot throw. Right. Ready? Ready? Okay. Ooh. This is going to be good. Oh, what started a century-old feud that you had with another family? What started the feud? Mm -hmm. A hundred-year-old feud that started Boy. with it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back to you. Okay, you ready? We gave you a whole minute and a half to, to think that. Um, the first communication, first communication I would get back from Mars, and I'm alone. Sure. Um, not with Matt Damon. <laughs> <Rats>. <laughs> I now mean, I know why. First of all, watch this thing. Now I know why Jake Gyllenhaal and Dwayne the Rock Johnson names appear in our show. But that's okay. Um, 
They could be here. They could be here. Um, okay, I would first say I'm here safely. Very uh, important. Okay. Tell Bobby, Connor, Alex, and Madeline I love them. Okay. <laughs> Uh, where's the nearest in and out burger joint? Because <laughs> I would be hungry. And then I'd probably describe how beautiful the experience must be, or, or was, yeah. getting here and what I'm seeing. Okay. And then I'd thank God. Okay. Very good. Now you've opened up that mailbox. I opened Your up neighbor. the mailbox. My neighbor. Your neighbor. We won't mention My who. Neighbor. You know that's a federal offense. <laughs> it is a federal offense? Okay. So wait, we're not saying you did this. We're just saying if you did this. So if I were to if, do this, which I wouldn't do hypothetically. ever. Ever. Because I'm a law-abiding yes. citizen. Yes. What, what about that one time? Oh, that's <laughs> cast party stays. Cast parties. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would I find in my neighbor's mailbox? Yes, what would it be? I'm thinking I have, you know, multiple neighbors, and I think it would depend on the neighbor. Yes, think of the other one. <laughs> but I think what I would likely find is yeah. multitudes of catalogs because of the number of trucks that make deliveries mm -hmm. to their house on an absolute daily basis, sometimes more than once a day. Mm -hmm. I so, think they're ordering from catalogs so, so a lot. So you just think of catalogs. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Yeah, yeah. Can we... It's a family show. <laughs> we... Family show. Can we, can we incorporate that in our show oh, somehow? A label from the catalog. catalog. Yeah. <laughs> what they she... order? That, that's what you came up with. Huh? That was that's really good. I like that. Yeah. I really like that. She's good. very catalog. creative. Isn't she? Yes. Yes. Catalog. Talented. Talented. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you a question about the trucks. <laughs> what kinds we'll of talk trucks? About the trucks later. Okay. Trucks. <laughs> All right. You had a chance to think about that centrial feud that you and that. Uh, family of yours had with the, what is the name of the other family that the, the Callanans? The against, Winstons. The, Cal, the Callanans <laughs> the against Winston. the Winstons? Yeah. You have five minutes. You have five minutes. Yeah, for the Callanans. <laughs> the Callanans. Three, we need to have a closing. Yeah. <laughs> because, um, you know, it, we were down south back then and uh, like we the, owned from property. Like the Cape or? What, no, what no, you know? know, down in Oklahoma area. Oklahoma. <laughs> and uh, that was back when my pa was down yeah. there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one day we caught a guy running around our properties, shooting at some food, and <laughs> up through the ground came some bubbling crude. <laughs> and, you know, he thought it was his, and yep. it was ours, and yep. next thing we knew, he ran away. <laughs> California somewhere. Oh, Beverly my God. Hills, that is. Wow. You know. But apparently, wow. we're still feuding, and they're still rich, and we're still poor. Oh my goodness! That is that a is, sad, sad story. That's a story. sad story. I know. Sad you know, story. those those critters. Who's <laughs> things are looking up? Critters. Food. Things are looking up. Ain't, ain't the critters. But, uh, <laughs> well, uh, both of you are. Uh, ex I'm very excited to have both of you in the show. You're playing Marcy, Marcy Balson. Marcy Balson. Yeah. Two two seconds on Marcy. What do you think of Marcy oh, as a character? Oh, she's so much fun. <laughs> she's full of, full of energy. Loves men. Can be seductive and maybe. Gets a little bit of a redemption. Oh, going redemption! On. Is that like bringing Happening. things back for like five cents for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this is at least a twenty cents. Right, right. Now I'm going with that one. And uh, David, you play Tim Holtquist, the station owner. Yep. And Tim is a bit of a uh, preppy, arrogant. He's um, kind of a dink. I like that word. Okay. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you both on stage. Indeed. And, and you're or you're uh, coming. You're doing. The, you're in the show. Did we cast you? Did you get I'm a part? Pretty sure I got a part. Yeah. Well, I had, yeah. We'll go back take a to look the through the scripts anyway, and but, see. Uh, yeah. So uh, thank you guys so much for thank being you. not only so part of this, so but thank being you, part of the show. Thank you. Excited and thank you so much for playing Yay. a little game with us tonight. So what do we have uh, next month? You know, since you organized this whole thing, you should know what next we're doing month. next month. We'll be back with show number 38. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a good night. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. 642 things to write about. Only 639 There's 39 now. There's 39 left. We did three of them. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Awesome. Cut. 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 Thank you. It's thank fun. you. Seriously. Is that better? How many? What show is this? 37. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you still, yeah, can't, you still can't figure out how to put on your mic. Okay, now you have yourself all tied up to the chair. I know. Okay. So don't move. Don't, don't get up. Because the chair is going to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> 37. I thought it was 30, 35 or 37. 37. I was close. I said 38.
your revolver. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard that. Joe! Are you filming this? 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 Stop it! <laughs> Must be the uh, Ashland burger I got. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, all right? All yeah, right. sure. Okay. I feel sorry. For everybody else who has, <laughs> feel sorry for everyone who ever has to deal with me outside of this. So do I. Well, it's okay, but on a full package. Listen, she knew what she was signing up for. I know, she knew. I wasn't yeah, any different. No, I'm, for I'm not any different. I'm not so sure. <laughs> In the fine print. <laughs> All right, we're ready, guys. Okay. Phil, like, if you're quiet, Phil, I can hear myself. <laughs> <laughs>